Welcome back. People making last minute spring break travel plans are feeling the heat of inflation. Fox 44's Hannah Hoover visited with a local travel agency to find out more. Hannah? PJ spring break is right around the corner, but inflation is causing the price of travel to go up, creating overall caution for spending. With fewer numbers of employees at airlines, hotels, and cruise lines, availability for spring break travel is on the decline. However, the challenges of availability and higher prices are not stopping everyone from their spring break fun. Bambi Eskew of House of Travel in Waco explains why so many are looking to travel this year. I have seen people who have been housebound or not traveling because of COVID the last few years who are really ready to go and desperate to get somewhere and have fun and get to enjoy what they've worked for. So I will say that we have been busier this year than we have probably been in the last four or five years. Um, so that's a good sign for travel. It's a good sign for people to get to go and enjoy things. There are still deals there. For last minute travelers, availability fluctuates day to day. Current options include trips like cruise ships out of Galveston, Mexico and Caribbean packages, as well as vacations within the states. However, travel warnings are currently active in Mexico. Travel warnings are not anything that's new. Uh, we tell people to just, you know, just use common sense, you know, think about where you're at. You're in a foreign country. You're in a different place you're not used to. So ask before you go somewhere or take a tour, be with other people so that you're not by yourselves. There are still a number of spring break opportunities for families and students to enjoy. Although now prices tend to be higher due to high demand. If traveling is on your agenda for later in the year, it is recommended to get passports and tickets now. Patience and planning are both critical when traveling in 2023 due to inflation and less availability. In Waco, Hannah Hoover, Fox 44 News.